Blog post versus pages, what's the difference? Why would you choose to use a blog post over a page or a page over a blog post? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. What's up everybody, my name is David, website creatorpro.com. So before we get into it, just know that blog posts and pages is 100% a WordPress thing. It's not like related to websites in general, it's just a, strictly a WordPress thing to help you organize the content. And then number two, you Google does not treat blog posts and pages differently. It's not like, oh, this is a blog post, I'm gonna rank this blog post higher than this page because it's a blog post. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It's strictly a way to organize your content. And the best tips is like whichever way you decide to go, if you publish a piece of content as a page, keep it as a page, don't switch it to a blog post and vice versa because that's the quickest way to nuke your SEO is to be constantly changing your URL structure. Now, the main difference between blog posts and pages is that blog posts have to be organized under categories and pages simply do not. But pages can have, you can have a page and a child page. What's a child page? Okay, so for example, I have websitecreatorpro.com slash blogging tools. And then that's a page. But then I have websitecreatorpro.com slash blogging tools slash YouTube. And that's like a, a layout of all my YouTube gear because creating videos helps you enhance your blog posts. So that's a child page of blogging tools. And that's a cool thing that you can do with pages. And it's just strictly a way to help me organize the content as it's related to the website. Now here's the just general rule of thumb that I follow. If a piece of content can be organized into a category, then it's gonna be published as a blog post. If it's gonna be something I'm gonna put in the menu bar or the footer bar, it's gonna be a page. And if it's a piece of content that's like related to the website in general, but doesn't like really like fit into any specific category, it's gonna go as a page. A good example would be to say, like you're gonna create like a, a directory of, of something that's related to your website, and that doesn't really fit into any specific category, then okay, create it as a page. Uh, so that's basically it. Now, another key difference is that the URL structure could be a little bit different. Now, I have a previous video that you can check out about the best URL structure for most blogs, and that's basically website.com slash blog slash post title because that just gives a really nice site architecture to your website, helps separate pages of your blog posts from your pages as well as your affiliate links, and that's just basically the way I set up all my websites. And you can see um, other websites in action like that, like neilpatel.com. Neil Patel uses that structure. It's like neilpatel.com slash blog slash post title. Why? Because that's the ideal URL structure that you should follow. Now, if you also look at his website, on his, he has guides in the sidebar. And if you look at it, it's like neilpatel.com slash what is content marketing. Well, that's a page. And then you're like, well, why would you publish that as a page and not a blog post? Like, look. It just comes down to how you want to organize the your website. So like, okay, like, oh, these are my authority guides and all my authority guides, my seven authority guides are going to be like pages. Whatever. Like, I personally wouldn't do that. I would personally just keep everything as a blog post. I would publish it as like neilpatel.com slash blog slash content marketing explained or slash blog slash what is content marketing instead of publishing as a page because that's a piece of content could be organized into a category. But again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like whatever you decide to do, stick to it. So if it's like, okay, you're going neilpatel.com slash what is content marketing? Okay, fine, Stay, stick to that and don't change it. Don't change it like, oh, I changed my mind. Let me delete the page. 301 redirect to a blog post that's slash blog slash what is content marketing? That's don't do that. Okay, so that's why you need to be careful. In general, that's the, that's the rule of thumb I follow. If it can be organized into a category, it's going as a blog post. Otherwise, it's gonna be a page. If it's, particularly if I'm gonna put it in the menu bar, footer bar, and if it's just a piece of content that's related to the website in general, but it's not like, doesn't fit into any specific category. So anyways, guys, that is it for this short little video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing, like the video. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.